Engaging Young People with Assistive Technology is a collaborative project between Harrowood College and the University of Warwick. The university has extensive expertise in 3D printing technologies and aims to share this experience with Harrowood students to explore how 3D printing technologies might enable young people with a disability to get involved in designing and producing their own bespoke assistive technology products and accessories. This video will tell you a bit more about our project and what has been achieved. So what is an assistive technology? FAST, or the Foundation for Assistive Technology, defines assistive technology, otherwise known as AT, as any product or service designed to enable independence for disabled and older people. Items of assistive technology are wide ranging and may be a simple low tech item such as a walking stick or high tech solutions such as the cutting edge Jacko robot arm. 3D printing, or as it is often called additive layer manufacturing, is a process of producing a 3D solid object from a digital model using an additive process, where successive layers of material are laid down in different shapes to build the object. 3D printed products do not need to be solid objects. It is possible to make a strong finished product by forming a grid or mesh shape on the inside of the product. Heroward College is an innovative further education college in Coventry, providing both day and residential places. The college welcomes all students, including those with diverse and complex support requirements. The emphasis is on promoting individual achievement for all students. The first products the group designed were a range of three straw holders designed in CAD and 3D printed by the group. Some students need to use straws for drinking and they found that suitable products to hold the straws firmly in place were not available. This is a communication aid used to help a student with severely impaired speech. The device has a simple U-shaped metal bracket on the back the problem is that it tends to slide away from the user when the device buttons are pressed. We designed a simple 3D printed stand which the metal bracket clips into. As you see in the picture to the right, the stand immediately stabilises the communication aid making it easier to use as it holds it at the correct angle for the student. One of the heroin students needed to use a safe to store his medication. He had limited hand function and was unable to use the fiddly dial on the safe Photo 2 shows the solution for the user mocked up by the occupational therapy department at the college. We used this to take a measurement and designed and 3D printed a smart looking handle for the safe which would make it much nicer for the student to have in their living environment. During phase 2 of the project the focus of our weekly workshop changed to encouraging students to use their newly acquired 3D CAD skills and knowledge of 3D printing to actually come up with bespoke assistive technology ideas and designs and 3D print them. This phase proved to be much more challenging for the students as it posed multiple challenges not present when just learning the software. They must think of a design that will work to solve a problem, think of a way to design a solution that can actually be 3D printed, sketch the design or make a model of it so that they can take measurements, then work out which CAD drawing functions to use to draw it ready to 3D print. To help students develop their technical skills during the phase, workshops also included tasks to practice measuring and drawing items using calipers and rulers. Despite the challenges and with the help of staff and student tutors from the university, the group worked really hard and designed and produced a number of products, including those you have already seen, many in response to requests from other students within the college community. Some products the students designed were particularly challenging and due to the technical limitations of the 3D printer at Heroward, some designs have been printed at the university. This is one of the assistive technology products we've developed at the college using 3D printing. It's an environmental control holder. This is the environmental controller itself. It allows the student to interact with things in the room uh, which they might have difficulty doing, whether that's opening curtains or doors or things like that. It fits snugly into the control holder like so. It proves to be particularly difficult for the students to uh, design. This is because the holder needed to have accurate measurements so that it fits snugly within. And also the angle between the base and the holder itself had to be um, measured and uh, achieved. This is so that the infrared uh, sensor uh, can interact with the one that sits above the door within the student's room. 
Um, we had this printed at the University of Warwick. This is so that the, uh, the printing was accurate. One student drew a test board in CAD to measure the accuracy of the printer. He found that the smaller the aperture, the greater the degree of inaccuracy. This student took measurements for the finished test board and recorded them in Excel with the help from university staff. He produced graphs showing the level of inaccuracy for different sized apertures. This information can be used to adjust measurements in our designs. Phase 3 of the project began towards the end of the spring term. The students prepared display boards explaining about the project and their achievements. There was a display of products produced and one student demonstrated use of the CAD software. The group will attend further showcasing events over the summer, including one at the University of Warwick in June. A group of Level 3 IT students at the college have produced a website based around the project, and some of the project group have used this to put news and blogs about the project. Thingiverse is a website dedicated to the sharing of user-created digital design files. We wanted to share our design so that other assistive technology users can benefit from our work by downloading the file and printing it on a 3D printer that they have access to. The project has generated wide media interest, featuring in the local press on the BBC News website in January. The project also featured on numerous 3D printing and tech trade journals, and even the Wall Street Journal Online. The legacy and sustainability of the project Heroid is assured. 3D Systems have donated the 3D printer to the college, so watch this space. And to keep up to date with the latest news on our project, please visit the project website.